We're here to train the mind, so why are we looking at the breath? It's because we need to use the breath to catch the mind. As John Foon said, it's like catching eels. If you go down into the mud and the water and try to catch the eels, they just slip right through your fingers. So you need something that the eels like. And as he said, eels like dead dogs. So you take a dead dog and you put it in a big clay jar and you stick it down in the mud and then the eels go into the jar. And then you just cover up the opening of the jar and you've got your eels. It's not a pretty image, but that's the image he used for crying trying to create a sense of well-being in the present moment, because that's what the mind likes. The mind likes pleasure. Everything it does is for the sake of pleasure. And so here we give it something really pleasant, right here, right now. Something where it can stay focused and get engaged. We're not just tying it down to the breath. We're getting the mind engaged with the breath to make it more comfortable, to explore, to take an interest in what the breath can do for the body, what the breath can do for the mind. And that combination of learning something about cause and effect and learning something about pleasure, that's what keeps the mind interested. And then when it's there, then you can watch it. When the Buddha talks about watching the mind as your frame of reference, he doesn't say just focus directly on the mind. He says focus the mind on the breath and then watch the mind as it's with the breath. And that's when we begin to understand what's going on, all the many layers of intention and attention and labeling, little fabrications that come up and go away and come up and go away, and then they, you latch on to them, some of them, turn them into thought worlds. All these processes you can see when the mind is with the breath. So this is why we watch the breath. It's you know, one of a John Lee's images. It's a mirror for the mind. Because as you look at the breath, the breath reflects all kinds of things about what's going on in the mind. When you're well anchored like this, and it's easy to stay and see things clear through from beginning to end. So try to stay with the breath as much as you can throughout the day. If in some of your activities it's hard to stay with the fact that the breath is coming in and going out, just be with a sense of breath energy in the body. How does it feel in your arms? How does it feel in your legs? Are there places where you tend to tense up? You may find that you have trigger points. Or there's a little bit of fear, a little bit of concern, some unskillful reaction sets in and the breath is going to catch at a certain point, it's going to tighten up at a certain point. Well, if you know where those points are, then try to keep those points relaxed as you go through the day. And you notice the temptation to tighten up and say, no, 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 just keep that relaxed. And see what that does in the midst of all your other experiences, that you can stay at ease and focused, even in circumstances that otherwise would set you off. This is a valuable skill. So you've got a whole day to be with the breath. The breath here is the bottom line. So see what you can learn.